So we always bring five or ten options to the client that we discussed with Opium and brought small models. And in the first meeting, it was very clear which one they chose. They liked all of them one by one, and when we came to the final one, they were, there was no doubt that that was the one. So the house is defined by the, by the two box, the three boxes with the void in the middle. That's basically what's, what makes the house. But that was a very easy choice, really. It came very fast. Then afterwards, there's a long process of solving all the details and solving the stair, and choosing the materials, and designing the windows, designing the facades. There's a lot of things going on afterwards. But it was it was probably one of the fastest and easiest uh, concept designs we had. We in the first meeting we got to the final result. Well, I think they are kind of a, let's call them a contemporary family with, uh, with three kids and the kids are very active. They go to sports and they have friends coming at home and the, Henriette works at home. She, she has a design brand. She works at home. So everybody is, so it's a very active house. People working in the house, friends coming over. So we created the house with lots of different zones. I mean, there's the, there's the kids' bedrooms, there's the master bedroom in a separate box, there's living room upstairs, and there's the big void in the middle between these three boxes. So it's really to design a house that has several zones in order to have these different activities going on at the same time. So the main, the organization of the house is the interiors. I mean, each box is more or less one function, right? You have the living room, kitchen upstairs, you have the master bedroom in one box, and you have the kids' rooms in another box and they all meet around the big, the big staircase in the middle. We always try to color, we don't use color, but we use materials, we use textures, we use real materials, wood, concrete, stone, I mean, we try to use real materials to give the textures and to give the colors. And that's what we did in the CPA house, the outside is clad, the box upstairs is clad with the, the, the stone, the floors are all wooden floors, and, so everything is natural materials that gives the colors. So we don't use we don't use colors. We use materials to give color and gives texture. No, because it's a, it's a question about minimalist. Because it's, I don't think the house is the Scandinavian the Scandinavian way of living and the Scandinavian way of doing architecture is very minimal. But I don't think it's minimalist. And there's a difference between minimalist style and the minimal you need in order to live, right? And all because of the climate, because of the nature, it was very harsh in Scandinavia. Scandinavian architecture is boiled down to the minimum of what you need. In the Scandinavian interior is very much about the light, the natural materials, how you bring the light in, and the few furnitures you need in your house. Differently, for example, from a Brazilian perspective, which you have a lot of interiors in Scandinavia and Denmark, you have very few interiors, very few furnitures, very little decoration, very bare. The nature is super important in CPH house, the way we used it, the whole, the whole arrival. I mean, you arrive from the garden and we made this big void in the middle of the house. So you block the view and then you see the view through the house and you see the, you see the, you see the nature, you see the trees. Um, when we started doing the house, it was, on the, it was on the 1st of May 2018, I think, or something. We met on the side and it was an existing house and we went on top of the roof of the existing house, a classic modernist one-story house and we were on top and we saw when you are when you're one level up, you're in the middle of the trees, like you're in the treetops. So that was the, the defining force for designing the house was really this to bring the living room one level up so you could be in the living room in the in the box upstairs, that you're really in the middle of the treetops, so you, you have a life in living in the trees. Um, Everything, everything in the house is related to landscape. You see, I mean, the house is positioned on the edge of the cliff, right? But not over it. So, you, so when you're in the rooms, when you're in the bedrooms, you have this spectacular view to the landscape. And we have these huge, these huge windows that let the nature in and let you see the nature. So. No, I th in, in Denmark, the whole modern movement of modern architecture and modern design in Denmark was created in the, the golden age of, of Scandinavian 
the golden age of Scandinavian design made a belief that good design and good architecture is a democratic right that everybody should have access to. So the designers and architects in Denmark had made a big effort in order to make architecture and design uh, accessible in terms of making production cost that lowers the prices and make, make good design accessible to everybody, making uh, architecture, good design and good architecture a democratic right that everybody has the right to access.